walk back inside and grab one cup of coffee before I do a 35 minute drive to um, North Avenue Beach. Feeling very edgy <laughs> today. Feeling very edgy today uh, and excited when I think about what's about to happen. But So I'm uh, 18 days away from Kokoro Camp. That's my computer bag for my work. I got my bag for my uh, all my boots and everything in there for the sand. I got my rucksack. I got my water bottles and other stuff. And I'm sitting here just um, about to walk back inside and grab one cup of coffee. Before I do a 35 minute drive to um, North Avenue Beach. Feeling very edgy <laughs> today. Feeling very edgy today. Uh, and excited when I think about what's about to happen. But when you have so much stuff that you're trying to accomplish in such a short amount of time, um, the, like, the, I want to use a swear word, but I'm not going to, the, like, mess around factor is just not in my body today at all. And so there's things that, uh, I got to do before I go, and it requires a lot of hard work. As you can tell, there's, like, nobody, uh, and that was more metaphorically standing around me today. This is something that I got to do on my own. No coaches, no friends. Uh, gotta go hit the water and do shit I've never done before. So to tell you I am not slightly, uh, scared is the wrong word. Nervous, not the right word. Edgy is the word I'm gonna use because um, I gotta go embrace some new like fears, get used to this water, get used to the sand in a way. Even though I did a thousand burpees in a uh, couple mile run last week, Today's a new day, you still gotta get out there. Uh, doing an ice bath before I go to bed, when I don't wanna go to bed or do that, is uh, is just part of that whole idea of just like forcing myself to be comfortable being uncomfortable and to embrace that part. Because I know in 18 days, there's almost nothing that I could do right now that's gonna compare to the pain that they're gonna put us through. So I gotta put myself in the place that I can perceive it to be uh, and do that on my own. So um, that's it. I'm excited. Uh, this video is more of a quick check-in. So if you ever feel that way, that's good. You're leaning forward. So peace out. Ed O'Keefe, I'll check in with you after today's. Uh, I got two hours on the sand in the water. And then um, I got another thing I got to do later. So that's it for now. Peace. Ah, uh, it's Ed here. Just finished a uh, training session at North Avenue Beach. Two hours of uh, rucking. Uh, with 50, 50 pound weight back, then about 35 minutes in the water doing uh, push ups, burpees, leg levers, leg sit ups, uh, bear crawls. Um, I don't even know what the other things are army crawls, uh, crab walks, and then I rucked a little bit more. And then I just finished up with a good um, 40 minutes. The last 40 minutes were um, 50 pound rucksack overhead um, going from shoulder to shoulder to work on shoulder endur endurance holding it for five seconds uh, 10 reps of that and I ran I, you probably can't see it on the phone but I think it's about it's about 800 meter run there and back maybe a little give or take I don't know uh, but I just did it for 40 minutes straight I have no idea how many rounds I did uh, the focus was to just really focus on my breathing Keep a good pace. Don't stop. Uh, you know, it's funny with the with the uh, holding it overhead, getting that butt tight when you press up, made all the difference in a lot of it. And I wasn't even thinking of it until I needed it. So, um, 18 days till Kokoro, feeling good, looking good, and uh, it was a good morning workout here today. It's nice and sunny. It's funny the sun came out and it was really muggy when I got out here. Uh, and so either way, you can see the Chicago skyline right behind me. I think you can anyhow. I can't even see the through the iPhone. So um, that's it. Be awesome. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.